Ever feel like you're always late to the party when trading? Watching others buy at the perfect time and sell at the peak of profits? The secret isn't magic, it's understanding two critical zones, overbought and oversold. Stick around, as this is the third episode of Mastering Basic RSI. We'll explore how to spot these golden opportunities and provide real examples from stocks, forex, crypto, and commodities. A fundamental principle of supply and demand has existed throughout history and across all markets. The lower the price, the more appealing it is to buyers, while higher prices tend to drive buyers away. As prices rise, the number of buyers decreases until it reaches a point where buyers are no longer willing to purchase because they feel it's too expensive or not worth it. This point is referred to as the overbought zone. At this stage, demand decreases, and the only way to attract buyers again is by reducing the price. Therefore, when the price reaches the overbought zone, we anticipate a price correction or a decrease. If we are able to identify the overbought zone in an asset, we can predict a potential reversal or price correction. This is extremely useful for a trader, isn't it? In the case of the oversold zone, the principle works in the opposite direction. As prices decrease, sellers become unwilling to sell, because they feel it's no longer worth it. This is known as the oversold zone. The only way to encourage sellers to start selling again is for prices to rise. Therefore, in this zone, we often see a price reversal upwards. If a trader can identify the oversold zone, they can predict that prices will soon rise, which is highly valuable for a trader. Tools to identify these zones. One of the best tools to spot overbought and oversold zones in various markets, such as the stock market, forex, crypto, commodities, and others, is the RSI, Relative Strength Index. When the RSI goes above 70, it indicates that the market might be overbought and could be due for a price drop. Conversely, when the RSI falls below 30, it suggests that the market might be oversold and ready for a potential bounce back. In the previous episode, we explained how to calculate the RSI in detail, which is essential for understanding these zones. If you haven't watched it yet, make sure to check it out using the link above. Basic Trade Signals by RSI The basic method of using RSI for trading signals is straightforward. A sell signal is generated when the RSI crosses below the 70 level, indicating the market may be exiting an overbought zone and prices could drop. Conversely, a buy signal occurs when the RSI crosses above the 30 level, suggesting the market may be leaving an oversold zone and prices might rise. While this is a simple and effective approach, there are other RSI signal strategies, such as crossovers with different RSI levels, divergences, and multi-time frame analysis, which we will cover in intermediate and advanced courses. Real Signal Examples This is a real example of the gold chart on a one-hour time frame. As observed, when the RSI crosses above the 30 level from below, the price begins to move upwards, indicating a potential reversal. Note that a buy signal is generated when the RSI crosses above the 30 level, not when it crosses below it. This is the Bitcoin chart on a 1-hour time frame. As shown, when the RSI drops below the 70 level, the price starts to decline. It's important to note that a sell signal is generated when the RSI crosses below the 70 level, not when it crosses above it. This is an example from the stock market, showing Tesla's stock chart on a daily time frame. After a strong downtrend, the RSI moved out of the oversold zone and crossed above the 30 level. At the same time, the downtrend ended, and a strong upward movement began, driving the stock price from $114 to $220, resulting in a profit of approximately 93%. This is another example from the Forex market, showing the pound sterling to US dollar pair on a one-hour time frame. In this chart, we can see two signals. First, the RSI crossed above the 30 level, and at the same time, the price began to rise. The sell signal, on the other hand, was generated when the RSI crossed below the 70 level, and the price started to decline. Please keep in mind that trading should not be based solely on a single signal. It should be a combination of tools and signals to make informed decisions. In future lessons, we will teach you how to combine RSI with other technical tools to develop a comprehensive trading system. Now that you've learned how to spot overbought and oversold zones, start practicing today and you'll see your trading confidence grow. In the next video, we'll dive into the fascinating topic of divergences, a powerful concept you won't want to miss. So make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated.